Hey guys, it's Brooke. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be reacting to 23 Wheel Cartoon Lookalike. And then after that, I'm going to be watching two more videos. It's going to be five useless body parts. And also, five strangers who look like. So first we're going to be watching 23. To stay away from the street free shine of Windex. Well, dear Windex users, these ads are false. Clean this glass is, is better than dirty yeah. glass. Don't stand for dirty. Use Windex. Use Windex. Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. So today it's going to be a light-hearted list as I'll be taking a look at real cartoon lookalikes. So I've got some images loaded up on my iPad and I'm just going to be flicking through and see what happens. And as always, I'd like to give a big shout out to Viewer TRZ Gaming XD for suggesting this video. Okay. Okay, so let's get the first post loaded up. Okay, so the first post is meant to be Dora the Explorer, I believe. And yeah, oh I can God. see that, kind of. I mean, she's definitely got the haircut, right? But I think it's more just a haircut that's making her look like Dora the Explorer. I wouldn't say they're identical. Next one, whoa, that is, that is pretty spot on. That is Chris Griffin. All he's missing is the hat and the ball chin. Well, he's kind of got a ball chin. Yeah, kind of, very, very lightly, but otherwise that is Chris Griffin. I think it's meant to be Chris Griffin in terms, because he's wearing a blue shirt. I think he's actually popped dressing up like him, but he does look pretty identical. All right, we've got another Family Guy one. This time is Meg Griffin. And yeah, I can kind of see it, but the problem is, I mean, she's just dressing up like Meg, so she's got the hat, the shirt, the jeans and whatnot. But I don't actually think she looks like Meg. All right, next, whoa, okay. Yeah, this guy is identical. Wow, he's got, I mean, forget the glasses, just look at his nose. Identical to the cartoon, and then his chin as well. It's like proper square. The hair is a little bit off, but other than that, all right, that guy is properly like him. <laughs> Another family guy, Consuela. And yeah, that, that is actually Consuela. She actually looks identical. The hair again is spot on. The glasses, okay. And then even like the wrinkles that go from, you know, from a nose to a mouth, they're like properly spot on. And like the chin, and then like, because she's obviously an older woman, her skin is like hanging a bit, you know, as, as, it, as it happens. Exactly, that is spot on. She just needs to wear the clothes and then she'll actually be Consuela. They should make like a real life Family Guy movie. Do you know what I mean? Like a proper, like using real people, using that woman to play Consuela, for example, and using the other guy to play Chris. And, do you know what I mean? Make like a proper Family Guy movie. That would be, that would be pretty cool. I'd like that. Another Family Guy one. Yeah, I, I, again, it's just more the clothes. I, I, what the heck? Eh, kind of. All right, we've got Ned Flanders system spot on again but again it's someone dressing up to be him whether he looks like that in real life i don't know but the hair is spot on the mustache is just like bang on glass is spot on screeching for everything is but the weird thing is that guy should if he wants to be ned flanders and look like ned flanders he should have a six but he should be proper ripped because ned flanders is always like really ripped isn't he so just imagine that guy with like a six pack and pecs and you know, bulging biceps mm -hmm. nah. <laughs> i just look weird yeah, he's definitely got the uh, got the hair and the uh, the forehead Ew. for it, and the nose, and the eyes, and the chin, kind of the mouth as well. Yeah, this guy is pretty spot. I don't know what's happening with what is that knife cut? So is it just acne? It looks painful. Whatever's going going on in his forehead. I don't think that's acne. I've never seen acne to be like straight lines across your forehead. So this guy looks like he's been involved in a tiny little knife fight, like literally just tiniest blade. Someone's just been cutting his head open. Weird. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know who the cartoon character is. I'm guessing it's mon something to do with Monsters Inc. Yeah, she, she looks pretty identical again, but it's, you know, it's the way she styled herself as well. You know, the hair, jump hole, whatever you want to call that. But then again, her face does look pretty identical. She's got the big eyes as well. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Cool. That is actually Mr. Burns. And this, this is what I love about these pictures, because these ones are actually like proper legit. That guy, you can tell he wasn't dressing up to be Mr. Burns. He just looks like Mr. Burns. Do you see what I mean? All he's missing is like the three dots. On his, on his head. But that is scary. He actually has that weird nose and the hair and like that kind of weird evil face. Yep. You can tell this guy is just proper legit. Looks like him. You know, you can tell he was walking down the aisle of some shop. His friend was like, "Oh man, you look exactly like him." And he literally picked up, took a picture, and you know, everyone sees it. 
But yeah, he does look pretty identical. Imagine if you look exactly like a cartoon character. Got another Meg Griffin. Yeah, again, I, I wouldn't say she looks like Meg. She's just dressed like Meg. Next one. <laughs> I love how, like, candid this picture is. It's just like... <laughs> You can tell someone's just driving by or walking by. It's like, holy crap, that guy looks exactly like a guy from King of the Hill that just took, like, a picture of some random kid on the street. But, yeah, again, he, he actually does look identical. <laughs> he probably looks identical. All right, next one. Peter Griffin. Yeah. Mm, kind of. I mean, you just got the glasses and that kind of smirk, but you're far too young to be. Maybe a young Peter. Kind of. All right, what's this? So this guy looks like, um, what's his name? Guy from Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, that's it, Shaggy. Scooby-Doo, police Daddy. arrest man for having sex with dog. That's even worse. So not only do you look like Shaggy, but you've actually been arrested for having sex with a dog. If the dog was a uh, Great Dane, that would be even worse. Let me see. I oh, know, family's Rottweiler. Well, you know, kind of close. A Rottweiler and a Great Dane kind of looks, you know, Scooby-Doo could kind of be like a Rottweiler. I think this guy's got some weird fantasy. <laughs> We've got Mario no, Luigi. Luigi. Ah, the Luigi guy. Well, kind, of, kind of, not really, but the Mario guy. Come on, man. You're wearing the exact same clothes. You've got the mustache. All you're missing is a hat with an M on it. And, you know, he's even got brown shoes on <laughs> this guy literally looks identical to mario oh, that's brilliant another peter griffin yeah he kind of looks like peter griffin i can see the resemblance but i wouldn't like if he walked past on the street i wouldn't be like oh my god that guy looks like peter griffin you know the, there's something just missing i can't pinpoint what it is but there's something missing but he does look is his name actually peter griffin because that looks like it's from like a yearbook photo his name if someone's edited that then fair enough but if his name genuinely is peter griffin that's that's like a million times worse <laughs> whoa yeah this guy looks who is he? he must be someone famous or someone known at the time so he's got his autograph on the picture can't read it unfortunately but he does look exactly like shrek i mean obviously the ears can't be identical because shrek is what is he an ogre or something but but i think he has some condition I don't, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but to me that looks like he might have some, some condition or something that makes him, uh, you know, maybe makes his facial features more profound or whatever, but... <laughs> well, this is just an old lady on the bus and she just happens to have the classic old lady haircut, so it makes her look like, um, you know, that character, I don't know what her name is. Yeah, I see the resemblance, but then again, it's a profile shot, it's... Mm. Alright, we've got, um, what's her name, Elsa. Again, I kind of see it, but I don't. I, again, if she walked by me on the street, I wouldn't be like, oh my God, she looks like Elsa. It's just, she's kind of doing the face. She's kind of copying it, but there's a resemblance. There's definitely a resemblance. If there's like an actual movie being made and someone needs to look like Elsa, she could definitely do it because they could style her to make her look pretty much identical. Whoa, hold up. That is identical to Peter Griffin. That is actually Peter Griffin. Now, this guy, if he walked down the street, if he walked past me, I would actually stop and be like, sir, you are Peter Griffin. And I'm probably, I wouldn't be the first person. I, I imagine this guy gets stopped all the time. There's constant pictures taken of him because he is identical to Peter Griffin. Because his face, even though his hair is off, his hair isn't identical, but it's his face, that expression, that is actually Peter Griffin. And he's got the, uh, he's got the ball, he's got the, <laughs> he's got the chin balls or whatever you want to call it. And the smile, the nose, that is Peter Griffin. That is by far yeah, the best one, one, the most identical I've seen. I don't know, maybe you guys disagree, but to me, he looks identical to Peter Griffin. Uh, we've got, uh, Johnny Bravo. This guy's just trying to look like Johnny Bravo, come on, man. I mean, fair enough, there's a lot of people who work out and get big muscles and stuff. But come on, yeah, do you have to have the sunglasses and the like ridiculous hair? If that's an accident, then I don't know where your childhood was. Because who, who didn't see Johnny Bravo who's like on that age range? I remember it really clearly in my childhood. Cartoon Network, who doesn't? Uh, next one. Um, oh, I don't know which character in the cartoon that is, but I do recognise her. I mean, come on, like she's wearing the mm. same top the same glasses and her hairstyle is like straight out of the 50s but it looks like a legit photo it looks like someone has just actually caught someone just by a shop window or something and literally just snapped that picture it doesn't look like she's dressing up purposely to be that character that's all of them so it was a bit of a different video today i hope you enjoyed it um I now we're gonna be watching five useless you have more power than you think tria hair removal laser
Mm. None of us ever want to lose a body part as most of our body is extremely useful and necessary to stay alive. However, with that being said, some parts of us are really not that useful at all. And should they be removed, you realistically wouldn't notice much difference. In this list, we'll be showing you five useless body parts. We would like to give a big shout out to viewers Safwan Wan and Hok Wan Hot Dog for suggesting this video. Number 5. Nipples. Okay, nipples are not useless for women, but for men, they pretty much are. Why do men have nipples? Well, you see, all fetuses start off as female, then their sex gets okay. detached, although it is extremely rare. So maybe male nipples aren't actually that useless after all. Number 4. Wisdom teeth. Scientists figure that at some point yeah, wisdom teeth probably to... served a purpose. However, today they do nothing more than bring pain oh, yeah, no since way. the human jaw has become smaller over time and the wisdom teeth just have nowhere to grow. It's said that modernish dental hygiene is why we don't need wisdom teeth. Before brushing, flossing, mouthwash and all the dental hygiene of today, young adults would have lost many of their teeth. So growing two extra sets of molars when you become a young adult would have been really handy. However, today it really serves no purpose. No. Number 3. The Tailbone Your grandparents didn't have a tail, but if you go back far enough in the family tree, your ancestors at some point did. Other mammals find their tails useful for balance, but when humans learn to walk, the tail became useless and over time it was converted into just some fused vertebrae. However, although our ancestors haven't had tails for millions of years now, once in a while their child is born with a defect that gives them a tail. Number 2. Darwin's Point 10% of people have this small fold of skin that forms on the upper part of the ear. It is pretty useless as it does nothing. Its origins are unclear, but researchers suspect it could have been I a joint that allowed that. the ear to swivel or even flop down. Number 1. Body Hair Body hair was useful a long, long time ago. It was our natural coat. Without body hair, we would have been very cold for most of the time. However, today, if you walked outside naked, you would probably get arrested for indecent exposure. Clothes have completely replaced the need for body hair. However, some hair is still useful. Your eyebrows keep sweat out of your eyes, for example. Nose hair and eyelashes all work as a filter. The hair on your head is great for keeping your head warm and Researchers say beards could play a role in sexual attraction. Many people. Okay, so actually, I said the other one. I said I was going to love. And every day, day, you promise uh, to protect. Oops. No. <laughs> um. You have the power to heal. Because your purchase of Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion supports the Vaseline oh Healing Project. B tries to save it, so. It's got a bad sting, so it's trying to unscrew it. If you notice, it's trying to rotate itself. What is that? There's a tempting to unscrew it. Eventually. How does it not hurt? It should manage to unscrew the sting. Let's try in the other direction now. Okay, that's sad. Okay. Oh, if you guys just saw this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you can ask for more of these kind of reaction videos and the, just hit that like button. And also, you can ask me to react to any YouTube video unless it's not nasty. In the comments down below. Bye!